All right, mystery ladder season eight race. Let's get another win today, baby. Oh, look, it's standard. I guess I will utilize this recent information that I was talking about. Oh, I don't remember this song. Oh, that's really nice. Okay. Okay. Accidentally minimized my tracker. That's cool. Twenty-two people in this race. <laughs> Burn a start, good. Alright, just don't be thick enemies, please. Well, half magic and burna to start, that's funny. Alright. Well, that's interesting. Well, that was easy. It's key shuffle, but we have our dungeon info. <laughs> Yeah, this is the bomb price pack, so we, we are already good on bombs. Um, this could still be an entrance shuffle, and I'm going to take a peek down here just to see, just to confirm. So, when we get the big key from the ball and chain guard, if it if we don't get a text box for it, then that means that the big keys are going to be vanilla, as in, like, in their own dungeons. Suck shot. I'm gonna switch. Well, no, I can't. Because it's still key shuffle, so. So, right now, as far as I know, it's just small key shuffle. Correct, Tana. If this was still an entrance shuffle, I wouldn't be able to, to exit out the, uh, the other doors in Hyrule Castle, which. I feel like. The bars would have been... I would have, I would have seen it, but maybe I, I might have missed it. We could check again. Well, it's not swordless, so that's good. It's my four bomb. not entrance shuffle so we can get rid of this and this and you have a good night robs thanks for stopping in bud thanks for hanging out you did more than stop in you hung out so i appreciate it yep that's a thing you really only see in mystery seeds
So with Key Shuffle, I wonder. Well, we'll def. I'm thinking about Aga Tower already. <laughs> and a glove? Holy moly. It's been a really nice start. What's up, Rambler? Yeah, two ladder races in one day. We won the first one, so now we just gotta win the next one, and then I'll be feeling good. Either way, I'll be feeling great, because we broke a five-game losing streak. Might just be small key shuffle. But we'll have to wait and see if any compasses show up. So standard random item or random weapon. Small key shuffle. That's all we know so far. Boom, baby. there are any Breath of the Wild randomizers. Um, actual randomizers. There are Breath of the Wild, like, challenges that you can do. Uh, someone by the name of 8F, 8F Games, has done a few Breath of the Wild randomizers, where it's just, a, like, a particular set of goals you have to accomplish. Try and Brooker race win. I probably should have grabbed that heart. There's no way I'll die at Ice Rod Cave twice in twice in one day, right? What MSU is this? This is Shuffle Knight. Compass Shuffle. Interesting. Dog Treasure Percent. No thank you. <laughs> yeah. I think there is a sh uh, Messenger MSU pack. Pretty sure that's been created. I need to go try out some new ones. There's been a bunch that have been uploaded. I'm just so hesitant because it just seems like there's so many packs that are being made that just end up being so much louder than the game itself that I'm kind of like, hey. I ain't taking no chances this time, bitch. I didn't die in front of Ice Rod Cave this time. Cantankerous Curmudgeon. Thanks for the follow. Normally I don't call off followers, but that's a very specific name. I, I felt obligated. Oh no, Misu. Not the drift. I need to actually legitimately send in my Joy-Con soon. Do you know what sucks about traveling with a Nintendo Switch that has a Joy-Con drift? It's useless. Like, handheld mode is just unplayable. 
pretty much. Maybe I should just buy the, uh... Skyward Sword HD bundle with the new Joy-Cons. No. I mean, thankfully, I have a Pro Controller, so I don't actually need the Joy-Cons. So I can I can get away with sending them in. That's a terrible stun prize. Is Pro Controller drift a thing? I don't believe so. They also better send me back Joy-Cons that are from the Mario Odyssey Switch. I'll be living. Pooter. Small key to GT. Oh, baby! If only I'd gone here first. Oh. So then I would have been able to do... Well, maybe I'll find some money and I can sequence break. I mean, for me, I, I can't... The only way I would use my Joy-Cons is if I'm playing in handheld mode or something, because they're way too small to play or to use, in my opinion. I got these monstrous... No, I don't really have big hands, but the Joy-Cons are just too small. Hey, Zora money. Okay, that's good. So, a sequence break up Death Mountain could be the play. Could be? No. I don't know, I haven't had any issues with my Pro Controller. Okay. Well, that does open up the two items in Castle Tower now. Yeah, I, I bought a Pro Controller after my playthrough of Luigi's Mansion 3 was kind of ruined by the Joy-Con drift. Hey, what's up, Shadow? I feel like I should go... After I'm done with this route, I'm going to go do Bonk Rocks, check Lumberjack, and then head up the mountain, I think. I think that'd be a good idea. Because otherwise, right now, it's either Saha, Eastern Dip, Agonist Cave, or checking the first chest of Castle Tower. So, Eastern is completable once I find a bow. So, I don't need any small keys for it. What's up, Telethar? Oh yeah, we're getting a brew crew battle tonight for that cross keys race. Nice. Oh okay, well. That is a good find. What time is that at? Ten Eastern. Mm, that's right around my dinner time. Well, I'll have something to watch while I eat. I'm gonna bake me a big old pork chop. I'm gonna stick to the plan I had. Do bonk rocks, see what's at Lumberjack, and then head up the mountain. Except, thankfully, now I can just flute up the mountain instead. We're just looking, well. I'm looking for a few things still. Did you die already?
tiny pork chops. I bought a five pack of big old pork chops. I'm gonna toss it in the oven with some barbecue sauce and a whole mushroom or two and some broccoli and some onion. Mwah, it's gonna be delicious. Hi, be nothing. That's a cape. Ah, okay, that's fine. Just gotta wait and see what the hell Bumper Ledge has for us. Somebody ported Link the Link Sprite into Spelunky 2? Oh, that's awesome. If I ever play Spelunky 2 again, I, I would have to... Grab that. That's funny. So, I don't have a fire source, but if I can find one, I can do Hera Basement. I'll... Well, I can beat Hera regardless. As, well, as long as the big key isn't in the basement. Well, I can beat it still, but... The whip is the fighter sword? Oh, I need to see that. That's funny. I'm gonna blind grab this, because I'm gonna head up to here anyway. Um... Yeah, because I want to grab that small key. I might go do... Wait, let me see if hints are on, because they can be on. The great and powerful wizard? I'm not a wizard. But I'm doing okay. How you doing? Okay, another pendant T rock today. A green pendant mire. That's interesting. And a pendant thieves town. Five and six are pod and ice. The Willard of Oz. Alright, which one is this? Mire small. Meh. leave if this is not the big key. Hey, look, it's the big key. Nice. Right, vanilla maps are still... Well, dang! That would have been nice if that was in the basement. I gotta remember that. What's your favorite small key, and why is a hair small? That's not my favorite. It's boss shuffle? I was about to say, this, uh, this, these settings were going to be pretty boring otherwise. Hi, Spike. Bye, Spike. At least it wasn't Helma, because if it was Helma, I wasn't going to be able to beat it. I was... I was not going to have enough bombs. Well... Boy! Boss Shuffle... can be a little scary. 
Especially when, you know, <laughs> the old Trinex at Lamola 2. So we gotta remember there is an item left behind in Hera. If I find a fire source over here, I'll probably still skip Hera Basement for the time being. That's kind of why I want to go over here first. <laughs> now I can go beat Mothula. If I don't do it now, I'm never doing it. But if I... What am I doing instead? That's the real question here. Right now, my options are First Chess Aga Tower, Zora, Saha Eastern. I guess we'll go do some sequence breaks then. How have the games been treating me? Bad! For the most part. I played the worst Swordless Seed I've ever played Yeah, the worst Swordless Seed I've ever played before, uh, earlier today. Where I spent, like, 35 minutes looking for my Go Mode boots and they ended up being on Pendant Laser Bridge. Because, oh, of course. lost a race last night, a retro cross keys race by 11 seconds. That one kind of hurt. Phew. Uh, okay. A lot of my races lately have been pretty, pretty damn close. Hey, Bombos. Right now, I just need to find the mitts. It's probably not going to be Hammer, it's probably going to be mitts. But if I get the mitts and I can get a fire, uh, Bombos right away, that's cool. A lot of my losses have been either by like 20 minutes or less than a minute. I can't decide which one, which, which I dislike more. <laughs> we have a good B. Um, our options right now are really terrible. I think this is the best play, but it's still not a great play. to find hammer or mitts, and then I have stuff I can go do. So if it's not Eastern, it's either Castle Tower, chest number one. Hera um, Basement. Chances are on my side that it's going to be here. I 
could also be cheeky. Thing is, if I go do Castle Tower, I might just go ahead and beat it. This Dark Castle Tower isn't too bad with a Fire Rod and Half Magic. And then I can, like, either go straight to Pod and go up and do Catfish, or I can Hookshot across, check Grave Ledge, See if the cape that's at Lumberjack is required for Bumper Ledge. Grab it and then do Bumper Ledge. But yeah, I think we're gonna get blasted by a last location or something. And it's probably gonna be Hera Basement. I think I'll go do that next. preferred Enemizer with vanilla bosses than the other way around, because then I could just beat this dungeon along here. Okay, this isn't it, because this isn't in logic. I'm just gonna be. I think I'm just gonna. Oh, wait, no. I don't have any keys. What am I talking about? I can only get the first item. <laughs> Brain, what are you doing? Alright, so it's either gonna be here or here, basement. done East Death Mountain before Hera. Yay! I don't know why I didn't, but whatever. Okay. So this has to be Mitz or Hammer. Or it could be Flippers and Hobo has it or something. bad. Well, what are you gonna do? I mean, having a double dip Eastern kind of sucks, obviously. But at the same time, it's like, I needed to get the big key anyway, so. No! My sunburn is starting to peel. I thought that was the tag on my shirt, but no, that was that's my skin coming off. Sweet! See, do right side first, get Fire Rod, do this the first time you're in here. And then just go straight to the Dark World.
Oh, but then you still have to double dip going to East Death Mountain in the Dark World. Just can't win. Right, well, I'll go check that. Especially with Pennant TR. And then I'm gonna go straight to... So that was the last location at 30 minutes. Which really sucks, but... Oh well. That's how it goes. And it Thieves Town sucks. I mean, now the thing is, do I just go straight to the pyramid and find out what my goal is? East, I mean, East Dark World is actually not even in logic for me until I find the flippers of the hammer. I think what I do is I go beat Skull and then just go Kern Jump. No. I don't know, that's a tough call because here's the thing. I, I, I mean, I could, yeah, technically find the hammer over in pod area around the pyramid. But I think it'd be better to hold off and get my logical access to right side first. Unless this is some sort of, like, super low crystal required seed. Alright, just lamp. Which is useless. <laughs> but thanks. Alright, I'm gonna go get my bombos. Um, yeah, let's do that. It is another pen it's a pendant mire, so I might not need to even I might not need these medallions, but it's a quick check. That gets me into mire. Which you know, with small key shuffle, mire. Not a bad play. Unless this is a ped seed. Like a ped goal. Let's see if we can beat Desert now. Or if this is small key locked. Well, that's good for boss shuffle. But I need, I need the desert small to beat the dungeon. Shuffle and compass shuffle. I mean, there's what? I guess that only adds three more items, so there's five items in here. And it's a pendant dungeon, so I might not need to beat it. And we could get two hammers and myers. Both seeds in a row today. It's possible. I 
hand. The small key in hand makes it so routing in left side is a little bit easier. Feel somewhat obligated to skip cutscene chest just in case it's the map. But we'll see. Third pot small. But if this is the big key, then I, I, I kind of want it. I need you to get out of here, buddy. My health is very low, so I need to be very careful. I do have powder, though. I should utilize that. I think making this play is okay, especially with how late I got Dark World access. But if this is nothing, a little bit more. Hopefully this is just a vanilla big key. Please? Another pod small? What the hell? That's interesting. No, I, I got one in uh, in desert. I can beat Desert. So at least this was potentially a required Meyer dip. Depends on how many crystals I actually need to beat the seed. Okay, hopefully this isn't the map, and the map is just on Viddy, and I cannot care about it. Nice. Okay, map on Viddy. Right? Yeah. So there's no new items in Mire aside from a green pendant. Now we'll beat Desert. That'll give us another crystal. So this could be like low crystal fast cannon. That's possible. It would be kind of nice to have a couple, like, if I can have at least three crystals. <laughs> Just swapping keys around, I guess. I'm gonna beat Desert, and I'm gonna go beat Skull after this. And then I might route down to Hype Cave and see if I can find the hammer or the flippers to get me over to East Dark World. It'd be kind of fun if I had like three crystals to get to the pyramid and then all of a sudden it's like, whoop! It's a three crystal fast cannon, go, go, go. I need to not be looking at the, the race channel thinking people are finishing already. I'm like, it, it, I mean, it's possible with the Triforce on maybe. So 
so the only boss we can't... No, we can beat every boss now, so that's good. This ice route is huge to have. What we got? Kill Vinny now? I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, hmm. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, well. The good news is that if this ends up being a, a pedestal seed, um, we're just a hammer and an ether. Several T Rock Smokies from. What's up, Omega Club? How's the run going? It's going all right. Seed has been very interesting. Okay. Don't have any Skull Smalls on me. Whoops. Okay. The only problem now is I might end up having, if I want to get the items out of Skull, I might end up having to drop down and lock myself into the front section. But we'll see. Man, you never really realized how interesting, like, just small key shuffle can be. Because that's the thing, is we might need, if, we, if T Rock is, like, a dungeon we have to beat. If the big key is vanilla, then we need all four TR spells. And that's nutty. So... We got the big key, we got the map. We got one item. There's three keys and chests in this dungeon. And... The compass is shuffled. So, there's... Five items in total in here. I'm gonna enter from the bottom in case it's uh, another Armos. boss to fight in Mafia's room? Nah, I'd say Elma was. I think what I should have done was just stall until Boy moved to the bottom of the room, and then that would have uh, made things a lot easier. But yeah, definitely, definitely Helmasar, just because he covers so much of the room. And like, Cold Stare, Vidi, or Armos, you can always slash them into the spikes for a lot of damage. Bow and I need hammer to finish to get the rest of the items. Or the rest of the 
bow hammer flippers and TR smalls. That's all I need. Well, I mean, with boomerang armos, at least you're still hitting them into the spikes, is the thing. Right. I'm gonna end up getting stuck in here, but that's okay. I wanna get the other items. All three of these are gonna be items, so. Then, yeah, I guess we go right back and we either route over to... Oh, cool. Yay! I don't get locked in here. Thanks, game. It's like it knew. See if I need that bumper. If that if I'm gonna need that cape at all. Uh maybe. <laughs> Great. I guess we'll never know. Alright, I'm gonna current jump because I wanna know what my goal is. I'm gonna skip catfish too. Yeah, thanks, Unknown. I had my warm up this morning with that sword list where you don't you don't really get to have much uh much in the way of good movement. Ready for all dungeons. Come on. Give me the all dungeons. I'd feel okay if that was the case, I guess. Honestly, this is an okay scenario. So we need a bow, we need the hammer, we need the flippers. We need two castle tower smalls and potentially all four TR smalls. Which could be in GT. Okay, it's 
Bomb Bomb, Samaria, Boomerang? Yeah. I also learned there's a splash delete setup with just Ice Rod. It's like, bomb bomb, Ice Rod, Ice Rod, and then jump in the water. Alright, let's go... Ugh, I guess we'll go beat Thieves Town. You know what, I might... I should just go beat Mire, maybe. Alright, yeah, let's go beat Viddy. Because Viddy could have the hammer. And then after that, we'll go back to Village of Outcast and we'll route all the way down to Hype Cave. And if the hammer shows up, then we can go do all of Swamp. Blech. What a nutty seed. Yeah, I've never tried to do the ice rod one. That's because I didn't know it existed. Now I There's also one that you have to, like, jump in the water at the same time your boomerang clinks against the wall. Which is weird. What's your favorite seeds to play? Um, I, I, I enjoy, it depends, it depends on the day, because I, I do enjoy, like, cross keys, um, I like some form of, like, key sanity, I, I don't care for boss shuffle, or, or I don't really care for animizer, um, boot start is great, Early boots that I don't accidentally skip uh, is also great. No matter who I watch, I do these random. My favorite is the hopeful positive spin they put on bad developments. You mean like when when stuff in the seat is going poorly, or? See, that's that's the great thing about um, racing one v ones is that even if you do something stupid, the positive spin is that hey, maybe my opponent also bit, did the big dumb. Hey, you're you're vanilla. Now, do I want to check Green Pennant right away, because it's actually in logic? Or do I want to try and hold off on doing that with Pod? Let's check it. Why not? We have all the info now. I forgot to go... Oh, I did it again. I forgot to go see what if I can get into GT. Like, Well, then again, I only had one crystal when I was over on Dark Death Mountain, so... Still, that would have been good info. Let's just hope it's like six or seven or something. Okay, be the hammer, please. Thieves? Let's go. Alright. Onward! Mm -hmm. 
so we're looking for hammer, obviously would be preferred. Flippers could show up, which would suck ass. Because then the pod area is in logic. Same with, you know, hammerless swamp or hammerless ice. Two things I'd like to avoid. The question is, at what point do I think I should head up, back up to Dark Death Mountain to see if I can get into Ganon's Tower? means that there's going to be something I'm leaving behind in the big chest. New to playing, so I've just been playing standard but learning and also watching people play. Nice! Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, starting out with just like standard or open mode, saving all the wackier stuff for, you know, after you've gotten comfortable with the game, it's always a good idea. Like, I would definitely recommend staying away from, like, Mystery or Entrance Shuffle for a while. Unless you're feeling up to the challenge. <laughs> Funny thing is, we could just go fight blind and then... and then come back when we have Hammer and Big Key. And just bail on the two items. to do a door randall here pretty soon. And we have a Trinex at the end of this, and my opponent came here before going to the Meyer area. Honestly, if there was any time to full clear this right now, it'd be now, because I don't have the Thieves Small or Hammer. But I guess that means some things are just not in logic. it's boss shuffle, I don't need access to blind cell. I would assume that plays a part in the logic. And molas. Hammer! Castle Tower Keys is going to stink. Yeah, I think once I get down to Hype Cave, if I don't find anything... Okay. I can, I can beat Eastern now. That's also good because I'd be able to clear... I, I'd be able to clear GT when I get there now. The interesting thing is, if we don't find... Um, hammer flippers, then... The answer might actually be Ganon's Tower. If it's available right now. Or 
Right now, I just I, I hope I find hammer before I find flippers. We're gonna be super thorough through all this and just go ahead and do Smith Chain. Just kidding. I'll come back for it. Because I'm gonna sacrifice my portal to do Magic Bat. The only downside is if we go this route and we do find the flippers. Feel obligated, especially now that I have the bow. What's up here, Tim? Now I'm gonna backtrack because this doesn't take that long. Okay. So, hammer on Armos, that's a possibility. If GT is available. I wouldn't have been able to do it while I was up there anyway. It just would have been smart. If, I should have just checked. I, I mean, I should have. I just forgot. I forgot to check Hookshot Cave when I was up there. Or, I forgot to check the crystal requirements for GT after Hookshot Cave. That's what I meant. This, I'll probably go ahead and turn purple chest in, then go back up the Village of Outcast portal and run all the way down to High Cave. Bland long dog. Will Arch Mystery. That's me. What's up, dude? Thanks for the 31. Excuse me. Hammer or flippers? What's it gonna be, game? No. All right, hype cave, Ganon's tower. Those are my those are my options now. Or, and Armos. Those are my three options that I have. It'd be really nice if I could do Eastern after beating Pod. But I would hate to run all the way up to GT and be locked out. No, we'll do Eastern. Because if I run all the way up to GT and it's four crystal GT, then I'm going to look like a dummy. Please just be the hammer. <laughs> of course. Uh, this game, I, I swear, this game is just so rude sometimes. I feel obligated to check this, even though I don't want to. I can check two items in here. And then I'm going to go beat Eastern. Well... Yeah, this sucks. I really wish I had checked to see what the crystal requirement was for GT, because now... 
to go all, all the way back up there for that is going to feel so bad. the hammer, please. Please. Once again, I'm going to make a bit of a dilemma. I'm going to head over here, but I am going to go beat Eastern first before I go into Pod. The nice thing is with five keys, we can full clear the entire dungeon. We just have to uh, the hammer jump and we're good to go. Let's just hope GT is like six or seven crystals. <laughs> I think I'd run up and check GT before going to Ice Palace next. Well, we have two Ice Palace Smalls. As long as the big key isn't like... Even if it's vanilla. Well, if it's vanilla, then we know it's hammer locked. So the big chest is not gonna have the hammer. So we can skip out on checking that if you really want to. Even if we get the hammer now, like, you know, we lost time to routing and stuff, but... If we find the hammer, then all we need to beat this game is stuff to beat T-Rock, so three to four TR Smalls and Ether, which could potentially all be in Ganon's Tower. Exciting seed. Locked bow! Hooray! Boy, aren't progressive bows fun? Okay, well. That's four crystals now. All we have left to check at this point is pod, ice, or GT, I think. Wow. 
Bum, bum, bum. Looking for a hammer. Helma's gonna have an item. Missing one pod small, but that could be in here. Hammer, where are you? Please show up. are small. That's good. Just need two more. At minimum. GT small. That's good, too. There it is. Okay. Alright, there's my hammer. So if I had instead just gone ahead, gone to pod, but then again, I would have gone to pod without a bow, so I made the right choice. understand why that failed, but whatever. Let's try that again. Alright. Go mode is ether plus TR small. this, I'm going to go ahead and do ice, and I'm going to do swamp into the pyramid fairy. Oh wait, I need castle tower smalls too. Gosh dang it. Well, when it comes to small keys, at least we know that the one at bumper ledge is not going to be a castle tower key. That'd be a little busted if it was. What's up, Rugal? Okay, honestly, aside from... I still think the biggest mistake that I made was... doing Hera before East Death Mountain. Because that might have actually saved me... an Eastern Double Dip, but... Because... Yeah. Hello. Yo, what's up, Tess? We're in a good position right now. I mean, literally, we're gonna just go ahead and beat everything we can in the light world. And then we're gonna go do uh, GT into TR. Or we're gonna go ahead and full clear everything else. Because there's no reason not to.
I mean, I guess there is an argument for going to GT, because I need to beat it regardless. And I need to find the big key in there regardless. But at this point, because I didn't check how many crystals I needed... Um, I don't really want to run up there with six crystals and be told I need one more. There's any time to get that. Now is probably the time. Okay, let's go full clear ice palace. Um, I don't need to hit the switch. If I'm gonna full clear it. So yeah, my decision to not go to pod when I did was the correct decision. So I would have not had a boat to beat it. That would have been pretty costly. What a cool seed. I actually really like this seed. Especially now that I have the hammer. Especially like this seed. I also think going to pod. If you get the flippers in in hype cave, I mean obviously I should have just skipped the swamp dive, but I didn't want to make that gamble. I didn't want to have to come back all the way from Village of Outcast again to get hammer out of there. But it makes much more sense to go straight to Pod than to go to Ice Palace because then you lose your portal and you have to go to the Marathon. I don't want that. I want TR smalls or Castle Tower smalls. There's the big key. Logically require, or it, it was it was a required double dip of pod. Well, no, I guess you could have gotten that. It was a lot. Okay, so then it was a required double dip of ice palace. Cause they wanted you to go in here to get that six key and then go to pod to get the hammer. Thank God for hammer gel. What's your rando marathon going? This is a quest rando sucks. <laughs> What's wrong with it? Is it just impossible or something? Hey, there's my guy.
Nice. That sounds like fun. I know I wiped Ice Golem a couple times in my vanilla playthrough. Crystal to go. And then I think I'm gonna skip Pyramid Fairy. For now. And just bank on it not being ether. Because I wanna go up and do GT, because I can do all of it. I'm gonna do swamp into bombo tablet and then head up. Does the rando have like difficulty settings that you can work around or it's just kind of like, good luck, have fun, bye. Or just not at all? Okay, sweet. Hey, Swamp, you remember me? was just blocked. Oh, was it like a plot trigger or something you had to do? Worst case scenario is Ether is in Pyramid Fairy. The downside about skipping anything is that, you know, I guess going into GT with two keys is probably fine, because there's plenty of free keys I can snag along the way, but it's still concerning. like for a mystery setting vanilla big keys like they're they're always in their vanilla spot actually i don't like i wouldn't like that but it would be interesting we can have vanilla swords we can have vanilla big keys right I am happy to see that, because it means I can do this all in one shot. It would be kind of funny if there was an option for... separate options, so it's like vanilla big keys, vanilla small keys, vanilla... I guess just like a single vanilla dungeon items option. Though I wonder if the randomizer would allow itself to put the small key in Dark Maze. Oh yay! <laughs> There's the map. Thanks. 
I mean, it'd be j interesting in a, in a mystery setting to be like, oh, wait, this is vanilla. Oh, this is vanilla. And then you can use that information. Like, it's it's just another thing that would reward people with knowledge of the vanilla game, which I think is arguably kind of nice. Sword Beam's doing current sword bam damage. Yeah, I hope they add that for a future version of Retro. Because that just seems like a perfect fit. And it's based on my my discussions with Kara about some of the the random stuff that I've asked her to work on. Like it seems very doable. Another one. I'm ready for you this time, buddy. This time I have a bow. You pink ugly idiot. T-Rock? Castle Tower? Yeah, Alright, well that's more than enough keys to full clear Ganon's Tower, so that's good. Yeah, I think we skip Pyramid Fairy for now. If I didn't have the book, I would go for it, but since I'm going to be going left, then I'll go turn in Mushroom and then I'll go up and do GT. But there's all seven crystals. One, two, three, four. Don't be shovel. So, we need, like, five more keys here in Ether. We've full cleared all, I think we've full cleared all of, uh, everything we can outside of De uh, Death Mountain. Aside, that, that we can actually do, aside from Pyramid Fairy and Thieves Town Big Chest, because we don't have the small key. will be interesting depending on how many crystals we needed to get into GT. It's gonna be very interesting. Hopefully it's a high number. It's a high number, I'm okay. It's a low number. Well, it depends on how it look, how the layout is. I mean those GT smalls were pretty pretty late game too. I mean I think they were one was in ice and one was in swamp or something. I didn't even look. Okay, all seven. Well, that's easy. Yay! I made the right choice. Save tower room for last before I head upstairs, just in case I find everything I need along the way. The biggest thing that scares me is that um, 
The cape is on... Oh, I should've done Spike Cape too, frick. Should've done that first. Um, the cape is at Lumberjack, behind Aga Tower, so it's behind the two keys there. And there is a small key at Bumper Ledge. And the only key that that could be would be one of the tr keys, or the Thieves Town small that leads to something that's required. But if we're lucky, we'll at least get the two Castle Tower keys. There's one. And then we can just do GT into Aga, and then a quick Pyramid Fairy. Okay, we need two TR smalls, one castle tower small, and ether. That's it. That's all we're looking for at this point. T-Rock now. And we just gotta hope that the big key to TR isn't vanilla. Or that the Castle Tower Small isn't in that chest either. Right now we are on the lookout for three more small keys for go mode. The other scary thing is if that second castle tower key is vanilla, <laughs> that would be horrible. You know, it would be horrible if the GT big key was, the ne was uh, in the tile room. I didn't even think about that. Let's hope that's not the case. Oh, baby! The dream! wasn't okay with that. Just use Burna, you idiot. God, that takes forever. More keys for go mode. I am almost tempted to run over to T-Rock right now. Uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna do the climb anyway, I think. Oh, but there's... This is tough, because we have some... We have some decisions we need to make. There's still Ether Tablet and Spike Cave. There's Pyramid Fairy. With two small keys to TR, we can get all the way to Laser Bridge. You know what? I think... I think running over to T-Rock right now is a good idea, because we can find out. <sighs> I don't know. It's a tough call. My concern is if it's a... I should just go upstairs, because I need to do it anyway. Come on, TR small. I need to do this no matter what. Because if the last Castle Tower key or the TR small is up here, then that's it. And we need to do this no matter what. Now, there's a very good chance that the last TR small that I need could be in T Rock. on Pyramid Fairy not having that TR small. Give me the last two keys that I need, and I'll be happy. Nice. Okay. are small for go mode.
TR small right here. Come on. Give me the goods. Okay, well... I'm gonna... Probably do Aga right after this, and... Ugh. The scary thing is, that small key that is on Bumper Ledge could very well be... the last GT small. Could be that Thieves Town small. But it's better to go for a possible key than going for possibly nothing. Hmm. See that, or I go for Pyramid Fury. I think I would do that. Well, yeah, I would do that half for Aga, regardless. Two items, Pyramid Fairy, Small Key on Bumper Ledge, or several items in, in TR. Like, TR is arguably the better play. No questions asked, like... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go get that cape and get that small key. I mean, the worst case scenario is that it's the Thieves Town small. If it's a GT small, whatever, then I'll do Pyramid Fairy. If it's a TR small, then we still risk the possibility of a vanilla big key in TR, and we need to find another small key. But there's still a good chance that another TR small is just chilling in TR. Not important to See, that's why I think lower wise, if you beat Aga 2, Aga 1 should already be dead. Oh, you were so close to perfection, buddy. Killed the no blue ball dream by being a dingle. How could you? It's fine. Pretty dick move there, bud.
That's not a good spot to... Uh, Alright. These last few decisions are going to be very crucial. But if this small key on bumper ledge is the TR small, then I think we're good. Just as long as it's not a vanilla TR big. I mean, worst case scenario, scenario is we get up there, there's a TR small like right in the beginning of the dungeon, and the TR big is next to it. And we could have saved the climb. But then we would add have, like, left GT to go do that. Which I almost did! But then I changed my mind. Um... If this isn't a TR small, I'll do Pyramid Fairy. If it's a Thieves Town small, I'll do Pyramid Fairy. If it's a TR big, we're going right- or TR small, we're going right to TR. 100%. go for that then. I'd rather it be that than the Thieves Town. Alright, Pyramid Fairy, and then we're going to T-Rock, I guess. I mean, we're 100%ing this game, basically. The nice thing is we'll be able to do this quickly because we beat Aga, so that's the upside to holding off on doing it until then. The only downside is that we wasted a little bit of time going for cape and bumper ledge. T-Rock. Or Spike Cave. Right, I guess I better do Spike Cave. I would be pretty upset if both T the remaining TR Smalls are in T-Rock. That would be really unfortunate.
Well, it seems like I might, sh might, should have gone to TR after getting Ether out of GT. But, at the same time, I would have ended up full clearing G uh, T Rock looking for that last Castle Tower key, so I think this is okay. This is the most full clear seed I've ever played, I think. And the worst thing is I could still find Shovel to go get a TR small to come back up here. I do think I've executed this seed pretty well, though. There's also hammer pegs. I just remember that. Well, hopefully that's not anything. Yeesh. That's... Hopefully big key's just in the front. Yeah, just big key and a second small key and we're good to go. As long as the big key isn't vanilla. I mean, at this point, this is fine. Because if the last TR small is in the big chest, like, a double dip hurts both parties, so it's whatever. It's just kind of funny. Holy cow, this seed is something. Jesus. Boringo mode. So yeah, I mean, here's the thing. Here's the way to look at this. If I had... When I left GT to go check uh, Ether Tablet, if I had gone to TR, I would have ended up full clearing it, looking for the Castle Tower key. Now, the question is, though, if, uh... Um... If the time spent full clear in this dungeon is less than all that extra shit that I did. Uh, getting the cave and checking bumper ledge and doing King's Tomb. But who knows, my opponent could have done King's Tomb before heading up to GT. And I got to do it faster, because I got to do it after Agate Tower. Well, the nice thing is after we beat this, we just save and quit and fight Ganon. Piece of cake. Now, I guess I could have gotten the Castle Tower key, beat Aga Tower, and then just immediately gone to T-Rock and skipped those three options. But when you know there's a key on the ledge, like... I don't know. 
I'd be a little hard pressed to skip that. Well, I'd be Thieves Town without the small key or the hammer, so. Oh, you're dead, buddy. I hit you with sword beams. Oh, I was hitting him into the spike. That'd be fine. Like, to skip the bumper ledge key and gone straight to T Rock would have been really risky. Alright, let's get that sub too. I'm a victor. Let's go, baby. I have defeated Salty Fry. Two for two today after breaking a five game losing streak. Let's go. I don't know how you don't full clear this game, though. I don't know how you don't full clear this seed. Like, seriously. Oh, God, what an exhausting mode. Ugh. I'll take it. GG's.